action. The American white man is a welfare king and the American white woman is a welfare queen. Our entire economy is based on giving white people free stuff and then they want to scream foul when a person like me, a black person, when we qualify for the exact same programs, they say, no, you can't give no black person no free stuff. Just work hard or stop being so lazy. When disproportionately every government program benefits white people more than any other group of people, why? Because in America, 197 million Americans are white. If you look at the black population, there's only 44 million black people. And so every government program that benefits black people, it benefits you, white man. It benefits you, white woman. And so it's in your best interest to work with black people so that we can have economic advancement for all American citizens. But there's always a problem. There's always a racial divide when it comes to dispersing resources for all the American people. The greatest welfare program in the history of America was called the Homestead Act of 1862. This program lasted for more than 100 years. The last piece of land that was given out in the Homestead Act was in 1988. Over 200 million acres of land were given away to predominantly white families. They gave millions of white families 160 acres of land so they can develop, create economic power for their families, pass down land to their children and their grandchildren. This land is worth millions and millions of dollars. It was only a couple of thousand of black people who were able to participate in this program. Why is that? Because this was a federal program, but when you go to the state level, states still had laws that prevented black people from being owners of land in their states. And so that disqualified millions of black people. If we're going to have honest conversations about welfare, then we have to talk about the number one recipient of welfare in America, which is the white person. Even to this day, disproportionately, like 40% of SNAP benefits go to white people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of poor white people in America. Where are the poor white people in America to raise their hand and say, I'm economically challenged in America. I got to stand in solidarity with my black brothers so that we can have economic advancement for poor people in America. But we can't have that conversation because of racial divide. White people love to point their finger at black people when we only participate in the programs that benefit you. But they just want to holler black, 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 and black. And I'm so sick and tired of y'all looking at me like I'm some type of second class citizen. No, black Americans are full citizens just like you. My great grandfather, my great great grandfather helped establish this land just like yours did. But when your great great grandfather got benefits to advance himself economically and politically, we don't have those exact same benefits. If you're a true American patriot, then you understand that black folks and white folks have to work together to push America forward because right now we're just saying, hey, every immigrant in the world, just come on to America and come get some of this land. Come get some of this money that white folks and black folks and American citizens have worked so hard to establish. Since we're pretending there's a race war in America and there's a black and white divide, we can't push our politicians in the way that we know they're supposed to go. We'll give money to Ukraine. We'll give money to Israel. We'll give money to anybody as long as it don't benefit black people. And that's crazy as hell. When I say I need the white person to work with me, the black man, I'm saying that you have to operate with me politically. You can't sit here and say, oh man, black people vote for the Democrats. Can't no white person in America ever holler black people vote Democrat when more than 60 or 70 million white people vote Democrat. If any white Republican wants to have a conversation about black people voting Republican, then go to those other 70 million white folks and tell them to vote Republican also before you turn it into a racial conversation. If we're going to talk about policies, those policies have to benefit black people as well as white people, or else we're not even having a conversation. We're continuing to perpetuate the stereotype that black people don't deserve anything in America. And I'm here to tell you, dear white person, black people deserve everything that you have. There are still over 600 million acres of federal land in America. We should have a Homestead Act Part 2, but it can't just be benefit you. It has to benefit me too. Let's have honest conversations to push America forward. And if we're going to have social programs, they have to benefit all American people and lift economically challenged Americans out of poverty and push us to the most brightest future that America has ever seen. Goddamn the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.